If you have your own business online right now and you rely on stuff like Google traffic, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Google has a massive update rolling out right now. And if you don't know about this, you're gonna to wanna to know about it because you're gonna to wanna to make these changes. Otherwise, this could kill your business, especially in your, if you're in affiliate marketing, you're selling online products, even if you have e-commerce stores, if you have any type of store or website, this is a video you're definitely gonna wanna stick around and watch. Now, if you don't follow this update, you could possibly lose money and this could kill your online business. This is one of the biggest, most significant Google updates that has come out recently. Now, I kind of knew this was gonna happen a, few, a year ago at least, um, but a lot of people still don't know that this is even out and they don't know how much this can affect their business. So you definitely need to pay attention uh, because if, yeah, if you don't make these changes, you could literally lose your traffic, lose money. And if you rely on websites to make money, this is so important. But before we jump into this kind of bad news, now I say it's bad news, but I'm gonna show you how to actually fix this so you don't lose money and lose your business. But before we jump into this, guys, if you wanna win access to every single one of my courses, we pick a winner in every single video. All you've gotta do is find the emoji in this video. Once you find that emoji, smash the like button and then comment below the emoji. You can either type it, uh, the actual symbol, or you can just type the words of the emoji. And you could potentially win access to every single one of my courses. Now, this is a Google update that's rolling out right now, okay? So Google updates their system a lot of the time and it affects people that are doing search engine optimization and rely on Google traffic for their websites. So let's jump into this video and I'll explain to you exactly what this is and how you can update your stuff to get the best out of this update. All right guys, so recently Google bought out an update, okay? They started rolling it out. They're gonna start rolling it out this month. Um, and essentially what it means is with your websites now, they have used something called Core Web Vitals as a ranking factor. Now, 99% of people out there probably don't even know what this is if you're in the affiliate marketing space and you don't know really what this is about. Now, I knew that this was gonna become something um, eventually. Um, and some of my websites that make me good money, I have fixed all of the this stuff, so I'm fine, but some I haven't. So I'm gonna actually show you some examples of a bad version of one of my sites and a good version where I've actually fixed it and it works really well. Now, what this means is there's three things that you need to focus on with your websites right now. This is really important because this is gonna become quite a big ranking factor. And as time goes on, it's gonna become more and more of a ranking factor. So first of all, something called LCP, which is the largest content for paint. And then we got the um, FID, which is first input display, commutative layout shift. Now, these are three things that you need to really pay attention to. Um, now, how do you find out? So here's some more information about it here, and we'll go through it as we go through this video. So how do you actually find out what you need to do? First of all, you wanna make sure you have your website in something called the um, Google Search Console. This is called Web Webmasters. This is one of the ways to do it. If you have it in Webmasters, go to Core Web Vitals, and it's gonna show you here, you're gonna have three sections. You're gonna have, um, we'll do a desktop version. You're gonna have poor URLs, URLs that need improvement and zero good URLs. I've used this website as an example because I don't have any good URLs here. And what this means is you need to improve these URLs. So you can do, click on um, open report and click on need improvement and it will tell you what needs improvement down here. But a much easier way is to use a website called Page Speed Insights and then take your URL so um, this one, for example, um, so this is my uh, one of my pages here, okay? Now I've actually already done it. You wanna take the URL of the page, not the website, the page. So for example, this right here, okay? And what I did is I put it in here and these are the results. So on mobile, it's 34. On desktop, it's 81. Now mobile, mobile is really hard to get a good score, okay? It just is, so focus on desktop and then mobile will come better hand in hand. Now, there's gonna be a lot of confusing things here, but I'll try and go through some of them. So essentially what you wanna do is you wanna get, if you can, these green squares into the, uh, sorry, these squares into the, make them green, okay? 
Now, there's a few ways, uh, things that are going to happen, but I guess that you're never going to fix this problem. For example, uh, if you use things like Elementor, so these like theme, these like custom theme builders and stuff, they're really, really bad when it comes to injecting bad code and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Now, th this one's pretty bad. So if you knew, if you use these types of theme builders, it's going to be very hard to get your website fixed. Okay, but I will show you some ways. Another one is called Thrive Themes. Now, I actually promote this as an affiliate and I do use this myself and they are saying they're fixing this. So hopefully they fix it in time. But this one's probably is the best out of all of them that actually care. But these types of things are going to slow down your website and I'll show you why. If we go to the, um, the this one here and we go down to some of these things, it kind of tells you what's wrong. Okay, so there's like, I'll go straight, straight off the bat, I'll give you some tips. Number one, you want to have fast hosting, okay? Very fast hosting. Number two, you want to properly size your images. Number three, you want to use fonts that don't like load heaps, okay? Um, that's like a whole other ball game. You don't want to use unnecessary plugins. When you are not using plugins, you want to delete those plugins and try not to use a lot of plugins. So the first thing down here, it says reduce initial server time. This is really uh, your hosting and stuff. Now, I have pretty good hosting. And the thing is, it's going to be very hard to get this perfect. So you don't need to worry about it too much right now. But it is going to become very, very strong later on uh, as they update Google more and more in the future. Now, this is going to be very hard to get down. But try and get um, better hosting. Don't have as many theme, uh, crazy um, like, you know, theme builders and plugins and things like that. Basically, the less, less on your server, the better. This one here, reduce JavaScript. So this is where things start to get a little bit crazy, right? So you'll see YouTube here. So on this thing, I have YouTube a YouTube video. Now you might want to have a YouTube video, and that's fine, but it's going to show the code and all that sort of stuff, and Google doesn't like that. So you can use plugins where you can lazy load the YouTube video, but then that kind of goes in hand in hand and don't use too many plugins. But I'll show you a plugin soon that you can use it. It's very, very good. Um, but you'll see like, all of this code. So this code here is the ads that pop up on this page. Um, I don't think we have any. So, okay, so we don't actually have any any ads on this page. Uh, we don't actually have any ads on this page. But what it's essentially saying is um, you have ads and that there's a code, right? Another one is Facebook. So this is the Facebook share button. So all these little things that you add to your websites, they create some sort of code that Google has to load or someone has to load when they go to your website. You want to try and keep these to a minimum, okay? Um, now, eliminate render blocking. This is where it gets really bad when you use things like page builders. So you see here it says Thrive, Thrive, um, all this other sort of stuff down here, okay? So that's the Thrive Builder because I use Thrive themes. You want to try and reduce this as much as possible. And I'll explain to you how you can do that in a second. And um, reduce unused CSS. So these are like um, fonts and things like that. And there's all this other crazy stuff that probably doesn't make sense to a lot of you, a lot of you guys. So you've got like YouTube code again. This is the um, ads. We've got the Facebook stuff, ad roll, ads again. All of this stuff, right? So, you know, you, you are allowed to make money. You're allowed to have ads and stuff on your website. You're not going to be able to fix this 100%. But what I want to do is I want to show you a link, another one here. This is another one of my websites. We are mobile 91 and desktop 97. So we really increased that really, really well. Now, the reason we did that is because we don't use a lot of crazy stuff on the website, right? We just have a nice, clean, simple theme and we don't have any videos and we don't have many images. And so what this has done is we, we our speed index is still a little bit down but we have like all of our stuff looking really good, right? So we have total blocking time at zero milliseconds, which is really good. We have time to um, interactive is 0.5 seconds. We have really got things down really good. And once again, it's not perfect, okay? But you're never going to get it perfect. You need to try and get it as close as you can. So how do you actually do that? So number one, you need to use good hosting and a good theme on your affiliate websites, okay? So that's what we have here, good hosting and a good theme. But you are allowed to build out your websites 
you know, you want to make money. So another good way to do this is to use some sort of plugin that will do this for you. So I'm going to quickly run through some stuff here. And this is a plugin that you can use. So a plugin that you can use is called WP Rocket. Okay, I will leave that below. And what it does is it actually takes you through everything that, that you need to do. Now, I actually went through and tried to find the best plugin with the best information. And these guys were the ones that had the best plugin and the best information. Okay. Um, and what I, essentially, if you go to this page, I'll link it down below. They've got all core vitals here. And they've got what um, how to fix the most important ones. So this page here, you go down and it tell and they say what are what is the website core vitals essentially, and it tells you what they are. Okay, very simple. Now I'm not going to go through every single detail here because you can read the blog post. But we go down and it's got all of the information. Okay, and they essentially have a few things on how you can fix it on this one page. Okay. However, if you go up to here and you go to um, LPC, it tells you so there's three main core vitals that you need to really look uh, fix. Okay, it's the um, um, the LCP, the FID and the CLS. When you fix these, the rest kind of come hand in hand and fix themselves. So this one here, what is the um, largest content content for paint, it explains to you what it is. And who cares, right, you want to fix it. So let's go down and down and down. They actually show you how you can fix it, right? So you can actually use their plugin and install it. Okay, and they've got number one is Oh, sorry, is enable page caching, so you can and they show a tutorial. Number two is choose a fast server hosting service so that will be up to you, you have to try and get your own fast um, hosting. Number two, use a CDN. Now, um, they've got one called Rocket CDN, or you can use something like Cloudflare. My hosting already comes with a CDN, so it's already built in. Another one is Defer JavaScript. So you can actually use their plugin to do that as well. So load JavaScript um, deferred, okay? Removed unused JavaScript. Um, they show you how to do all that. I think we just talked about that. Um, delay JavaScript to show you how to do that. And they show you how to literally do everything. Now, I am going to tell you that this is not the answer to all your problems. Okay, sometimes these things can mess up your sites and stuff like that. So do it at your own risk. But you will need to play around and see what works best for you. Okay. Um, but there's all of these things you can do. Um, and you can also do lazy load um, YouTube videos and stuff with this as well. Okay. But if we go up, you then go to the next one. And they explain to you how you can fix this specific this is the this is the second one, they show you how you can fix this one. Okay. So this is really important. You go down and you follow the steps. Okay. You follow the steps on what you need to do. Uh, and then you go back up and they show you how to do it for this CLS. Okay. And you scroll down and these images are loading. And this is how you fix it. Now you, we do need to keep in mind here that a plugin is really best for beginners. If you want to get your website perfect, you don't want any issues and stuff, you're gonna to have to hire a professional to do it for you. But yeah, essentially, this is really important. And you need to focus on these three things on your website now. Okay, you need to focus on these three things. To do that, you take the page that you want to test. Well, actually, you can go into your webmasters and it tells you how many pages have issues on this website. Every single one does. The, or you can use this website here, take the URL, and it's going to give you all the information that you need. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. And all you do is you essentially take these blocks here and you go back to this website that I'm going to leave you below and they tell you how to fix. Um, let me just go here. They tell you how to fix every single thing to the best that they can. Okay. And this is this is exactly like a classic example. So this one here, we did 81. This one here on this website 97. So you can fix this problem. But this is really important guys, you need to fix this if you have an affiliate marketing website because it can affect your rankings in Google. And it's gonna be very hard to rank if you don't fix this problem. So to find the problems just use this website. If you want more information on how to fix this stuff step by step because there is a lot to this, go to this website here, I will leave a link to this below and a link 
to their plugin. If you want more tutorials on how you can make money online, I'll leave some free videos up on the screen that will take you through step by step on how to start your own affiliate marketing business. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, any comments, leave them below, and I'll see you in the videos on the right.